Imagine being transported back to the 2nd century BCE, a time when the Ajanta Caves were just beginning to take shape. Picture a bustling scene of industrious craftsmen, their hands tirelessly chiseling away at the rugged facade of the Sayadri Hills. Each strike of the hammer, each painstakingly carved niche, was a step towards forming what we now recognize as the Ajana Caves. These weren't just any caves, but a labor of love, hand-carved into the rocky cliffside, an embodiment of the human spirit's indomitable will and creativity. But what sparked this monumental endeavor? Why go to such lengths carving into the very heart of the mountain? The answer lies in the spiritual quest of the era. The Ajanta Caves were initially conceived as a retreat, a sanctuary for the monks who had dedicated their lives to the teachings of Buddha. In the solitude of these caves, away from the bustle of society, these monks sought to deepen their understanding of the Buddhist teachings, contemplate the nature of life, and meditate on the path to enlightenment. The cave served as a refuge, a place of study, and a center for devotion. The monks lived here, studied here, and performed their spiritual practices here. These caves, with their simple, austere design, reflected the monks' way of life, one of simplicity, humility, and introspection. The birth of the Ajanta Caves is a testament to the human spirit's capacity for endurance and creativity. The monks and craftsmen who toiled day in and day out, their hands raw and blistered, their bodies weary, did so with a singular purpose, to create a space that would serve as a beacon of spiritual enlightenment for generations to come. The Ajanta Caves, with their beginnings rooted in spirituality and devotion, are a testament to the timeless human quest for understanding and enlightenment. They stand as a reminder of our capacity to create beauty even in the harshest of environments, to harness nature and transform it into a space for spiritual growth and introspection. So the Ajanta Caves, a marvel of human ingenuity, began their journey as a humble abode for the disciples of Buddha. Fast forward to the 5th and 6th centuries CE, a period often referred to as the Golden Era of the Ajanta Caves. During this era, a significant surge in the development and expansion of these caves took place. The caves underwent a transformative process, evolving from simple rock-cut chambers to a magnificent gallery of art and spirituality. This was the period when the walls of the Ajanta Caves began to narrate stories, not just through words, but through the language of art. The caves became a canvas for exquisite murals and sculptures, these weren't mere decorative elements, but a visual representation of the life of Buddha and tales from Jataka. Each mural, each sculpture was a chapter from these tales, beautifully etched onto the walls of the caves. They were a testament to the skill and creativity of the artists of the period, and a reflection of the profound spirituality that pervaded the era. The influence of the Gupta style of art is evident in these creations. The Gupta period, often hailed as the Golden Age of Indian art, had a significant impact on the aesthetics of the Ajanta Caves. The sculptures and murals bear the hallmark of the grace, detail, and dynamism that is characteristic of Gupta art. This fusion of the spiritual and artistic realms under the Gupta influence gave the Ajanta Caves a distinctive identity, setting them apart from other contemporary art forms. But the caves were not merely a showcase of art, they were also a vibrant center of learning and cultural exchange. Scholars, monks, and artists from various parts of the world congregated here, exchanging ideas, sharing knowledge, and creating an environment of intellectual and cultural stimulation. The caves, with their serene ambiance, provided the perfect setting for such interactions. The Ajanta Caves, in their grandeur and artistic brilliance, were now more than just a retreat. They were a vibrant center of learning and cultural exchange. However, as dynasties fell and new ones rose, the Ajanta Caves slipped into obscurity. The ebb and flow of time is relentless, and it is often unkind to the monuments of our past. This was no less true for the Ajanta Caves, a marvel of human ingenuity and artistic prowess. The fall of the Vakataka dynasty, which had patronized the Ajanta Caves, marked the beginning of this period of neglect. With the decline of Buddhism in India around the 6th century, the caves lost their spiritual significance, and subsequently, their patrons. Bereft of their caretakers and worshippers, the caves were left to the mercy of time and nature. As the centuries rolled on, the once vibrant and bustling Ajanta Caves became a silent and forgotten relic of a bygone era. 
The jungle, with its unyielding, relentless growth, started to creep in, slowly but surely. The lush green foliage, while beautiful in its own right, acted as a cloak of invisibility, hiding the caves from the prying eyes of the world. The once resplendent murals and sculptures were now at the mercy of the elements. The monsoons brought with them a deluge that slowly eroded the intricate frescoes. The scorching summers and the harsh winters took their toll on the sculptures, chipping away at their grandeur bit by bit. The caves, which once echoed with the chants of Buddhist monks, now lay silent, save for the rustling of leaves and the occasional calls of the jungle's inhabitants. The grand halls, where once teachings of enlightenment were imparted, were now home to bats and other cave-dwelling creatures. Despite the ravages of time and neglect, the caves stood, a testament to the skill and dedication of their creators. Their resilience was a silent protest against their unjust oblivion, a beacon of hope that one day they would be rediscovered and appreciated once again. Thus, the Ajanta Caves, once bustling with life and activity, fell into a long, undisturbed slumber. The forgotten marvel, however, was not destined to remain forgotten forever, and their slumber was not to be eternal. It was not until the 19th century that the Ajanta Caves would be stumbled upon once again. Lost in the annals of time, these ancient caves lay dormant, their splendor and significance unknown to the modern world. That was until a British officer, Captain John Smith, while hunting tigers, chanced upon the entrance to one of the caves in April 1819. Can you imagine the awe and intrigue that must have sparked in him as he stepped into the dimly lit cave, his eyes adjusting to the intricate frescoes and sculptures that time had tried yet failed to erase? Smith in his surprise even left his mark on one of the murals, a graffiti that still exists today, bearing testament to this moment of rediscovery. Following Smith's discovery, the caves became a site of interest for explorers and archaeologists. Over the next century, the Ajanta Caves were thoroughly explored and documented. Each cave was studied, each mural and sculpture meticulously recorded. The intricate artwork and the stories they told were slowly unraveled, revealing a rich tapestry of history and culture spanning centuries. The world began to realize the monumental importance of the Ajanta Caves. Their significance was not just confined to India, but they held a mirror to the evolution of human civilization and artistic expression itself. It was the silent narrative of a bygone era, etched in stone and color, waiting to be heard. In recognition of their universal value, the Ajanta Caves were inscribed as a UNESCO World Heritage Site in 1983. This esteemed recognition brought the caves into the global spotlight, reaffirming their status as a significant archaeological treasure. The Ajanta Caves, once lost to oblivion, now stood as a testament to the artistic and spiritual legacy of the past. Each mural, each sculpture, each whispering echo within the caves held a piece of the jigsaw puzzle that made up the grand tapestry of human history. Rediscovered and recognized, the Ajanta Caves were finally ready to narrate their centuries-old saga to the modern world. Today, the Ajanta Caves stand as a testament to the artistic and spiritual legacy of ancient India. Now a UNESCO World Heritage Site, these caves are a living museum that takes us back to the time when art and religion were intertwined in an intricate dance. The caves, each a unique masterpiece, are preserved with utmost care and diligence. The Archaeological Survey of India and global conservation organizations have undertaken numerous efforts to maintain the integrity of the paintings and sculptures and to ensure that they survive for generations to come. Despite the challenges posed by time and nature, these efforts have largely succeeded allowing the caves to retain much of their original grandeur. Every year the Ajanta Caves attract a multitude of visitors, a testament to their enduring appeal. These caves are not just a destination for history buffs or art lovers, they're a place of pilgrimage for anyone seeking to understand the depth and diversity of human creativity. From the casual tourist to the dedicated scholar, the caves offer something for everyone, a moment of awe, a spark of inspiration, a sense of transcendence. Beyond their physical existence, the Ajanta Caves have left an indelible mark on the world of art. The style and techniques used by the artists of Ajanta exerted a profound influence on subsequent Indian art traditions. Even today, the echoes of Ajanta can be seen in various forms of Indian painting and sculpture. The caves are an enduring symbol of India's rich artistic heritage, a beacon that continues to inspire artists and scholars around the world. The Ajanta Caves, a journey through time, 
continue to enthrall and inspire, their story echoing through the ages. As we move forward into the future, we carry with us the legacy of Ajanta, a testament to the timeless power of art and the enduring spirit of human creativity.